Please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. Sure. Well, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking a little bit out of my depth, but I think I, I can give a, a semi-informed opinion, um, especially with, with the bigger companies like Disney and Pixar and where there's so much about, um, I mean, it's, everybody talks about this, but it, so much about that is merchandising and selling the, the brand as opposed to just the film. It's not just a movie anymore, um, which, you know, there's a lot of bummer to that you know we'd really love like you said like to make these movies that are just exploring different ways of telling stories and and um uh you know sharing different people's sensibilities about storytelling and getting new writers getting new directors and um but there is kind of a they gotta make money making making merchandise and doing all that stuff so a part of that i think well probably more than all of us really want to admit um part of the character design stuff is thinking about, will this make a good toy? Will this make a good product that we can sell for years and years and years to come? Um, but like you said, like, like there's some amazing explored exploration designs um, in, in the art of books. And uh, um, I think that's also just the nature of like, at the beginning of a film, it's, it's all over the place. They don't know what the story is. They don't know where it's going. They just have a really cool idea. And a, and a bone structure and then they just throw it to artists sometimes to just be like what what is what could this be and they throw it out and whatever sticks sticks and then they just keep refining it till it's what we see in the theaters um but you know unfortunately some of the wilder ideas that really would make a cool film i think it's just it takes courage and it takes it's a risk to make that type of film as opposed to make something that everybody's seen before not not that everybody's seen before but that feels comfortable that feels like disney that feels like pixar that feels like blue sky you know it's making not only the brand of the product you're making but also the brand of the company the studio as a whole um so that's where like studios like leica um that come up with these really cool character designs with really abstract uh you know set design and and has a lot of charm to it i think that's why those stick out is because we're like whoa whoa wait animation can do that <laughs> like that's amazing you know so um i think we'd all just have to keep our eyes open to those to those when they when they show up on the surface that we pay attention to those as opposed to just going well they're little we'll just pay attention to the big guys for now but um but like you mentioned, that's that's where the cool stuff really is, and and if we can get that to become popular, I think bigger studios will um, come around to doing those types of stories.